Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. You change your style. Why not your eye color? New Air Optics Colors Prescription Contact Lenses enhance your eye color for a naturally beautiful look with consistent comfort. Find your perfect color and get a free trial offer at airopticscolors.com. Apples are good. A Strongbow Hard Cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow motion horse? The bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. Introducing York Minis. A bite-sized new way to enjoy the full-size sensation of peppermint and rich dark chocolate. New York Minis. Get the sensation. You smell nothing. You smell... The conference call. The ultimate arena for business. Hour after hour of diving deep, touching base and putting ducks in rows. The only problem with conference calls, eventually they have to end. Unless you have the Comcast Business Voice Edge mobile app. It lets you switch seamlessly from your desk phone to your mobile with no interruptions. I've never felt so alive. Get the future of phone, and the phones are free. Comcast Business, built for business. And lastly, Uverse gives you a whole bunch of on-demand TV shows and movies. Let's get started. Well, how many is a whole bunch? As many as Xfinity? I swear you're gonna love it. That didn't really answer my question. Over 5,000 on demand. Well, Xfinity on demand gives us over 30,000. We'll set it up for you. Don't settle for you, Verse. Get over five times more on-demand TV shows and movies on TV with Xfinity from Comcast. Lights in just seconds. The last time you'll have to restore your headlights. Call 1-800-709-2281. Order now. Every Monday night this fall. What is it that produces these things? The Weather Channel unlocks the secrets of the earth. And all new season starts next Monday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. All right, guys, uh, keeping you updated on all the storms out there uh, today. We just got a new tornado warning out uh, for our friends here in northern Alabama. Again, this is on the main squall line here. Remember, we already had one line of storms that's moved on through. Here's the storm right here around the Hamilton area, uh, just to the north of Beaverton. I, this just came out, so I haven't put the settings in there, so I'm sure the rotation isn't going to be uh, significant on this. But here you can see it working its way on up. Let's look at uh, Max 7 and uh, see what we got going on here. There it is right there, right around the Winfield area. It's going to come right up and cross 278 uh, just to the east of Hamilton. Go right in there, Sarah, because it's going to be a tight little couplet. There it is right there. You can see it uh, right around Highway 43. Going to go across 78 and continue uh, again just to the east of uh, Hamilton. So this is north of Gune to the northwest of Twin. Tornado warning, Lamar and Marion County. Well, we have an 80 mile per hour hurricane for our friends in the Caribbean. Let's talk about that. This is the Leeward Islands. Our senior hurricane specialist, Brian Norcross, has an update for us. Brian. Uh, all right, Jim, time for the tropical update here. We've got a couple of systems. We're watching this hurricane in the Leeward Islands and also in the Pacific for Hawaii, we've got a system. Let's get, though, first to Hurricane Gonzalo. It is currently pounding the northern Leeward Islands there. 80-mile-an-hour hurricane. Hurricane hunters out there now watching it very closely, measuring the pressure, which has been going down as the storm has strengthened through the day. Still moving northwest at 12, though so it's moving uh, where it's going to move closest this evening and overnight to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, but the worst of it will stay off those islands. And look at that. The center located five miles north of the island of St. Martin at this point. So the winds have gone down in that general St. Martin Anguilla area. Here on the satellite picture, we can see the core is here. Here are the Virgin Islands over here, Puerto Rico there. So the core is well away, but the circulation on this 80 mile an hour hurricane is being felt there in those islands. On the radar, we can see that core. It's a fairly small storm right there going right over, looks like the edge of it, right over St. Martin and Anguilla, and it went uh, very near St. Bart's earlier on today. Still some good squalls on the east side and some gusty squalls on the west side, but certainly not the worst of the storm. Close up here, look, you can see the eye. It's a tight little eye there. The other thing you can see when I put the line
lines on the earth with the, the direction it was moving, it's kind of made a little bit of jog to the right, even a little farther away from the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And we'll see how that might affect the track a little later on. But still, hurricane uh, warnings in effect for those northern leeward islands and over into the British Virgin Islands. The system is expected to move to the northwest and then kind of hang a right uh, up toward Bermuda. So look at this. The Hurricane Center forecasting a, a category strong category two, perhaps even a category three hurricane approaching uh, Bermuda later in the week. That would be stronger than Fay by a significant amount. But of course, we don't know whether it's going to go to the right or the left or go very close to the island too early to tell. But certainly something to watch there. Look at the streamlines over the Atlantic and the eastern United States. You can look at this all day. It's so full of information. First of all, down here on Gonzalo, look at the colors telling you where the strongest winds are. And notice the strongest winds not affecting Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. High pressure up to the north is funneling this tropical air into the east coast. And it's look at that, that funnel right there. That's where we're getting all that severe weather. That's ahead of the cold front here. So all the systems working together, that high pressure has got uh, a break in it. See this break right in here? That's what's pulling Gonzalo to the north right now between these two high pressure cells. So what's going to happen moving ahead? The jet stream dip that's causing all the severe weather is going to take over the eastern side of the U.S. and that's going to divert Gonzalo to the north and we're confident this will not affect the east coast of the U.S. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, two systems and invest way out in the eastern Atlantic and fade to the north, neither of consequence. Now this one over here uh, in the Pacific though is of consequence. Here's why right now it's only a tropical depression to C. C because it's in the Central Pacific, only 35 mile an hour winds right now. But look at the forecast for this, uh, bringing it in the direction of the Hawaiian Islands and the Central Pacific Hurricane Center is estimating it to be a category one hurricane as it approaches uh, in the Saturday, late Friday, Saturday time frame. Now, this is an unusual situation in the Central Pacific once again. So a lot can happen and it would be unusual to get a hurricane approaching uh, the big island from that direction. On the water vapor, we see there's an upper level low right here. It's a forecast to move on out of the way and make the conditions somewhat favorable for strengthening in here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that toward the end of the week and into the weekend. All right, that's it. Uh, back to you in the studio. All right, thanks so much, Brian. And we will be with you right through the morning hours covering the ongoing tornado threat this evening. Wake Up With Al starts early at 5 a.m., followed by AMHQ with Sam Champion at 7 Eastern. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, cloudy intervals. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. Tonight, two major weather threats and tens of millions of Americans in the path of both. A broad, severe storm system is pushing east while we've got a hurricane near Puerto Rico. And we are making sure you stay safe as we track and time it all out with in-depth expert analysis and extended live coverage. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we've got a lot of tornado watches in effect, as you can see there, from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf Coast. We want to thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Nick Walker. We want to bring you up to date on what's going on here with this severe weather outbreak. This really has been ongoing now for several hours and will continue. It is the first killer tornado that we have seen in October since 2009, and we had two storm deaths to talk about here today already. Okay, we got 
couple of the big cities impacted by the storms right now. That's right, we're talking about St. Louis, all the way down towards New Orleans, even Nashville. You're on a tornado watch until midnight tonight, Central Time. And already we've had damage and unfortunately a death and fatalities reported with this storm system. Yeah, the Little River Sheriff's Office confirms this is a picture of the tornado victim from earlier today. This was in Ashdown, Arkansas. The picture shows the victim, Eddie Witham, and his wife, Roxanne. Roxanne and the couple's three children were injured in the EF tornado, but they did survive. And unfortunately, we had a death in Alabama as well with a tree coming down on a house there. We'll get more information as that becomes available. But of course, uh, we do want to get back to the thick of things and where we have the worst of the weather going on right now. So let's get some expert analysis on this severe weather outbreak that you can only get right here on the Weather Channel. We're going to turn it over to our storm tracker, Jim Cantori, joining us from the lab. Hey, Jim. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, busy night uh, ahead. We've already had uh, many tornado warnings, uh, some sightings and some damage as well. Uh, Henderson, Kentucky, by the way, the most recent damage. Uh, Henderson High School reporting a metal roof blown off the baseball facilities there. Let's hope that it's just one building that's had that damage. Uh, again, big jet stream here carving its way up around this monster trough. And as it does that, of course, it's unleashing a tremendous amount of rising air motion here on the east side. And you can see the results. All these blue and uh, pink areas, of course, are showers and thunderstorms that have pretty much been ongoing since last night when all this was west of Dallas. So here's what it looks like on the radar. You can see the upper low is active. That's why you're not playing baseball tonight in Kansas City. And in my honest opinion, I think that favors the Orioles. They need something to shut down the Royals because they are so intense uh, right now and playing such great baseball. Again, uh, heading into Indiana now, you can see these storms coming out of Illinois. Many warnings out uh, in southern Indiana coming down through Kentucky. This is the storm here now with a severe thunderstorm warning on it that had tornado warnings on it pretty much since Mississippi. There's the new tornado warning. And yes, there is another one down in the Florida panhandle as well. So let's get to these. Starting off into Indiana, this is the same area that uh, hammered Evansville. That little hook right there, that little appendage. Uh, we call that a line segment. And as that line segment works its way up uh, toward Barr and Jasper, watch out. Could be some gusty winds coming in on this. Not to mention a brief spin up and possibly even a tornado. That may have been what uh, hit our friends down in the Henderson area. Now here's the storm that went through Clarksville uh, with some damage actually uh, to the south of Clarksville, just to the southeast. It's up here near the Bowling Green area now. It's got a little bit of a hook on a little bit of a rotation here. It's pretty broad, but we'll watch it because it could cycle. Actually, it looks like right under the L and the E it looks like the best rotation right there, uh, Sarah, is where we're probably going to find that best rotation. So it's going to push, uh, again, right up to, toward Lewisburg and continue to track uh, up into the north part of the county. No correlation coefficient on it right now. That means there's no debris uh, with this at the present time, nor is there a tornado warning, so that's good. All right, so Nashville, we told you about the first line that came through. Dave covered that for us. Hopefully, we'll still have him to cover the next line. Here's the batch I told you around Columbia that's coming up uh, again right up I-40 and into the Nashville area. So so we're not done yet. We've got more storms. I just warned on the storm. We were just talking about the old Clarksville. Oh, the one I just showed on the radar. Okay. So we're going All right. Back so to let's this. just go back to it for a second. Uh, this is the one that we talked about near Lewisburg. So it, it's had a tornado warning on it, but a history of tornadoes. This is Butler and Logan counties. Uh, let's see again, Sarah, right where that is, so we can show everybody. It's right in this Lewisburg area here. We show that rotation kind of tightening up just a little bit there. Uh, again, south of Rosewood, near the uh, Lewisburg area, right here looks like uh, some of the best rotation. A couple areas actually trying to rotate, but either way, this is the heart of the tornado warning as it pushes off uh, toward the northeast at a pretty quick clip in through here. So uh, again, I'll look at it on the high resolution radar a little bit later on. I just want to get to the rest of this stuff because there's just so much uh, going on. But still, uh, the storm's had a history of, of tornadoes. So watch out west of Bowling Green. We take you down here. This is northern Alabama again. Again, you dealt with that other line that, that came in from the south. It went south to north, produced damaging wind. Power poles snapped off at the base from Birmingham northward to southern Tennessee. Now now you've got a little spin up on that line right in through here, and that is pushing up across uh, 278 and heading up toward Haleyville. So keep an eye on it. You can see the appendage right there. All right, that's the appendage right there. Let's take a look at it. Again, it's uh, it's moved a little bit, so I'm going to center it up and talk about the storm relative, which isn't strong. Let's go up in elevation a little bit, see if we can see it uh, a little bit higher. It's not that great, to be honest with you. Just very, very broad rotation. That's a good thing. We, we don't want these things to produce tornadoes, that's for sure. So looking at it again, there's the appendage, normalized rotation, not very, very strong at the present time, but that doesn't mean it can be. But this is the kind of thing you look for on the main line, are these little appendages like this that can produce 
produce tornadoes. All right, Sarah, moving on, we take you down uh, again uh, toward the Birmingham area. Big area of thunderstorms working its way off to these. Almost a solid line now from west central Tennessee. Let's just time this part of it out through Birmingham. Looks like about 912 uh, for you guys in the Birmingham area. It's 912 central time. Uh, Sarah's done a pretty good job in timing these out. So uh, my thinking is she's going to be pretty close, probably within 10 minutes of it happening. And look at this. Down near Pensacola or Apalachicola, we've got a tornado warning. I was watching this storm come ashore. It's got a monster hook on it here. Let's go in uh, quickly, Sarah. I want to show everybody the, the high resolution radar. Look at that thing right in through here. It wasn't rotating very much, but it is now as it moves up toward the Creels area. So if you live in the Creels area, please uh, keep an eye out. This storm uh, does have some rotation on it at the present time as it continues to work its way on off toward the north. It looks like it's a little bit stronger as we go up in elevation angle, uh, but that doesn't mean it can't come down to the ground. It's got a great signature and certainly the ambient conditions in the atmosphere here suggest these storms will rotate. All right, um, I'm, I, I'm sorry, Nikki, I can't really understand you, but I'm gonna throw it back out. Uh, Malkoff. Today, oh, Dave, Dave. Uh, let's go to Nashville with Dave Malkoff. Dave, do you see anything uh, that looks like it's threatening off to your west southwest right now? Or is it too far away? Well, still? Jim, just take a look for yourself. You can see uh, it's, it's pouring here. That Lewisburg that you were just talking about just a little bit ago, that is just about an hour south of us. And it, it does. And let me just play smart guy, dumb guy here just for a second. Jim Cantori definitely being the smart guy in this. It looks like it's almost coming from the south. Is that is that correct? You're going to you're, you're kind of into this what we call stratiform rain now, but to behind the main line. But believe me, it's just going to be increasing. It's going to get a lot heavier uh, probably within the next, I'm going to say, 25 to 35 minutes, Dave. It's going to get a little bit. It's going to get heavier and, for and you. OK, we're going to keep an eye on it on the air all night right here on the Weather Channel. Need new tires? Right now at Pep Boys, when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth tire free instantly. Plus, get six months special financing on purchases of $199 or more. Trust the boys to get you there. It figures on your busiest day, you see the gray. Try Root Touch Up by Nice and Easy. Just brush our permanent color matching cream right where you need it, then rinse. In 10 minutes, zap those grays and get on with your day. Nice and Easy Root Touch Up. Just tell us your budget and the name your price tool helps you find a whole range of coverages. No one else gives you options like that. No one at all. <laughs> no one at all. No one. Wake up! Oh. You okay, buddy? Uh, I just had a dream that Progressive had this thing called... Your budget and the name your price tool helps you find a whole... It isn't a dream, is it? Nope. Sorry! You know that thing freaks me out. He can hear you. He didn't mean that, Kevin. Yes, he did! Keeping our competitors up at night. Now that's Progressive. Sunday nights, the Weather Channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, cloudy intervals. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh... 
Khakis? She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. When we say the all-new Chrysler 200 is all new, we mean it. We used the latest tools and built a new state-of-the-art manufacturing plant. We gave it new smart technology. We challenged conventional thinking with a more intuitive design. And we set new expectations of what an American sedan can be. The all-new Chrysler 200, America's import. All right, guys, continue to watch uh, severe weather across uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi. You're getting out of this quickly in the northern part of the state, but the southern part still very, very active all the way down to the Gulf Coast, even just east of Apalachicola, a hook echo, a tornado warning on a storm there. Now, this storm here near Lewisburg, Kentucky, has had a history of tornadoes and damage all the way back to Mississippi. That's right. It's been a supercell for that long. It crossed all the way uh, through Tennessee, produced damage uh, around Clarksville, to the northeast of Clarksville, Tennessee, and now is up into southern Kentucky around the Lewisburg area. And you can see it uh, right in through here, kind of rotating around. Almost looks like it's kind of trying to translate a little bit uh, off toward the east into this area. So it's going to be southeast of Penrod, going to come up between, uh, looks like 949 and 106 as it continues to push on off to the northeast. That's uh, certainly within the tornado warning out. Sarah's timed out the hook. Harper Crossroads, Silver City, 721, South Hill, 726, 733 around Mining City. All right, moving on. Be careful, guys. Take cover. Look at this on the high-resolution radar. Guess where the hook is? You got it right there. That's pretty much uh, where we talked about it being as it continues to push on off to the northeast. All right, Nashville. Dave's in the rain now. He's in this little area right here where there's some heavy rain that's moved over him. But look at what's off to the west. All right. This is the stuff that may actually contain some damaging winds. We will watch this work its way into the Nashville area as we work our way here through the next 30, 40 minutes or so. Remember, the components are moving quicker off to the northeast within the actual line than the actual line is moving to the east itself. So, in other words, if you look at the components on the storm, they're moving quickly off to the northeast, but the line movement is going to be a lot slower. Timing it out for Nashville, uh, what did you use here, Sarah, about 20? About 35 is what they're right. warning okay. is. Okay, 807 ish Central Time uh, for you in Nashville. And we got we'll, a new tornado warning we'll get to. And we'll check on uh, Malkoff here in just a little bit. All right, again, heading down to the south. Uh, here's uh, the Hamilton area watching this storm. We finally saw that tornado warning uh, go away, thank goodness. But this is all coming back through Huntsville and Coleman. Some of these people are without power from the earlier storm that pretty much snapped power poles. And a nice little discreet supercell here north of Mobile, Alabama for Mo northern Mobile County and Washington County as this thing's pulling on off to the northeast. Go in a little bit yeah, tighter on that. You can see the hook right in through here. Uh, I don't have this radar called up on the high resolution, but uh, again, oh. the, the ooh, wow, nice little couplet right there. That's pretty strong rotation uh, right there and uh, heading to the northeast out of northern Mobile County into southern Washington County. Again, very strong signature here, guys, uh, on the radar just to the east of Citronelle, uh, Alabama, working its way on off toward the north. No correlation coefficient, at least uh, at this time. Let's hope it stays that way uh, and we don't have any debris signatures to tell you about. All right, Kelly and Nick, let's go back out to the studio. All right, Jen, thanks so much. And of course, we've already had one round of thunderstorms move through Nashville, but we're getting ready for the next one. That's right. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff is there right now. And Dave, you know, I, I'm sorry to say it, but it looks like the worst is still to come for you. Yeah, and it got pretty bad just about half an hour ago, 45 minutes or so, when the rain was just pouring on top of us. You forecast it there, it comes down here. That's what it's been doing all night, and we're watching it on the radar, and we see it come right over us. When the sun was just setting, we actually got to see the storm rolling on top of us. If you look up at the buildings, we want to show you a live look at the uh, at and Batman building right in downtown Nashville. We actually saw the those storm clouds rolling over and we could see the sky get dark and just pour down rain on us. Not seeing any lightning from that storm, but we definitely did get a lot of water and water could be a possible a problem here because after a, a record dry month last month in September here in Nashville, they went through a very, very wet October. We are already around five inches here in October and that's just at the beginning of the day. So we're keeping an eye on that, and we will be right back.
Razor Dragon. It's time to get a hotel. Hey, Razor, check this out. We can save big with Priceline Express deals. You know what, man? These guys ain't no dragons. They're cool. These deals are legit. Hey, we're cool. She's cool. We're cool. It's Chevy Truck Month, time when truck guys can depend on great offers on the 2014 North American Truck of the Year. Chevy Silverado, from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickups on the road. It's Truck Month. Trade up to this Silverado Crew Cab LT All-Star Edition for a total value of $8,500. It's Truck Month. See your local Chevy dealer today. I mean for the year. Hi, sorry, just want to say, I bundled home an auto with State Farm, saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. So sorry. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Savings worth talking about. State Farm. Be one with it. And it will be one with you. Be one with your tires. And the road will be one with you. Angle Tires. Apples are good, as Strongbow Hard Cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow motion horse, the bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. Awesome! I've been Claritin Clear for eight days. At the first sign of your allergies, doctors recommend taking one Claritin every day of your allergy season for continuous relief. 21 days, 14 days of continuous relief. Live Claritin Clear every day. Starting next Monday. Suddenly there are three suns? What would you make of that? October 20th. It's a very scary experience, actually. And continuing every Monday night this fall, the Weather Channel unlocks. I would love to see you take a ride in the space shuttle. Seriously, think about it. I've been in the space shuttle before. Didn't really go for a ride in it because the clearances are incredibly complicated. It got me thinking, you know what I've never done? I've never gone for a ride on a motorized skateboard. So somebody should do that. It's a great suggestion. Keep them coming. Brought to you locally by South Florida Ford. Go further. Online at SouthFloridaFord.com. Excuse me, but I can't believe your age. Your skin looks so young. I never take off my makeup with soap and water. Too drying. I use Alvaline. I started using Alvaline when I was your age. I start today. And now there's Alvaline in a convenient tube. Living with diabetes, it's really important for me to take care of my skin. It's a schedule. It's must do every day. Gold Bond Diabetics Dry Skin Relief. Nine out of tens on noticeable improvement in just one hour. Dry skin is under control. Gold Bond really works. 9-6-1-8-8 or go online to theactivebrace.com. Call or click today. If you miss this Sunday night on the Weather Channel, you'll never know how twisted weather can be. Wicked Weather Sundays, every Sunday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned for your local on the 8, brought to you by Del Monte's Yummy New Fruit Burst Squeezers. What's in a can of Del Monte green beans? <laughs> wanted you to be my sweet honeybee and if i was a tree growing tall and green all i'd wanted you to shade me and be my lead grown in america picked and packed at the peak of ripeness with no artificial ingredients del monte bursting with life currently in our area 82 degrees under fair skies Tonight, cloudy intervals. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 87. Here's our seven-day outlook.
Welcome back to this special edition of Weather Center Live as we're looking at pictures shot by Tommy Rayburn of a tornado this afternoon near Raymer, Tennessee. That's east of Memphis, just north of Corinth, Mississippi. A tornado on the ground there, but uh, fortunately, no reports of any injuries, uh, damage. Uh, we're not, not getting reports uh, in of damage from this tornado, but I tell you, with more tornadoes possible, we could very well see a dangerous scenario shaping up throughout the evening and overnight. And one death reported in Ashdown, Arkansas, one in Dora, Alabama, a tree coming down on a home there. Also, thousands are without power this evening. We've got more than 11,000 still without power in Texas. It's been a while since they've had the storms there, but yeah. Louisiana, 46,000 customers without power, All Arkansas 1,600, Mississippi and Tennessee are both over 2,000 customers without power. And that's why we have these radios here on the set with us, because these are NOAA weather radios mm -hmm. that you can crank. You don't need power to right. do this. You can crank it. It generates its own power. It's got uh, a light you can use mm -hmm. as well. And you can also get local information on the, uh, on the radio, on the AM bands, the FM bands, as well as the NOAA band as right. well. So if you're traveling, you know, these are great to have because it will automatically alert you to a, a possible warning in your area, tornado warning or a severe thunderstorm warning. You can program it as well. And it's really important to do that, especially with an overnight threat as we do have tonight. These tornado watches go until at least midnight tonight. So before you go to bed tonight, have one of these ready, not just your phone, which you can get alerts on as well with your Weather Channel app, but these are very important as well. Some way to wake you up mm -hmm. if life-threatening thunderstorms come your way and we do anticipate a widespread area of seeing just that. Let's head out to the lab right now. Our storm tracker, Jim Cantori, has been very busy today. Hey, Jim. Yeah, guys, uh, we still got it going on, that's for sure, especially all the way from Indiana now. Indianapolis, if you look southwest, you got a line of thunderstorms coming your way, uh, potential damaging wind threat. Here it is right now. You can see how far north uh, the warnings come into central uh, Indiana, again, up toward Terre Haute. That's pretty much the beginning of the line here, and this goes all the way down. And it's starting, you know, right in here where it bends. You'll notice it's not as pronounced as it was back in here, okay, when it crossed over from Illinois, but still enough so that bird the bow is still surging and it's heading up toward Indianapolis. Watch out around 10.02. That's when you will potentially see uh, that bow come into the Indianapolis metro area. All right, Sarah, moving on, heading down to the west of Louisville. Storm's heading toward you as well. And this is that same supercell here in Butler County that uh, produced a tornado down uh, to the west uh, and southeast, or I should say southeast and northeast of Clarksville in uh, Tennessee. It is still going on. As a matter of fact, you can trace this thing all the way back into northern Mississippi. Northern Mississippi, and it came all the way across Tennessee and is now into southern Kentucky, Butler County. Here's the cell right in through here. It's still got an appendage on it and a hook. Uh, it's just about to come out of the tornado warning, and right now it looks like some of the best rotation is still pretty much right in the west northwest quadrant of the, of the uh, per previous warning. So watch out in Rochester. Uh, you're certainly going to be close enough to it, especially on the southeast side of town and over toward Logansport as well at about 735. That looks like, actually, Sarah, Sarah just moved this. Uh, so Rochester, 725. 23, Logansport about 737, Renfro about 749. That is what's coming your way. And here you can see on the high resolution radar, I just wanted to get a quick look at the storm relative with this. And it looks like it's trying to wrap up a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking the normalized rotation is not. Uh, actually, it is pretty good north okay. of Rochester. So there it is. There's where the best normalized is. It's going to head up to east of Cool Springs and Cromwell as well. Uh, so it's still spinning, guys. Still got a chance to produce a tornado. This is a supercell. It doesn't want to quit, and there's no reason to believe that it's going to yet. All right. Uh, we're watching wind here, actually, as a main threat. Coming up Interstate 40 here to the west of Nashville. So Nashville's right under here. Uh, Hickman, Lewis, Maury counties. We're probably going to see this extended off to the northeast. We'll watch out for a little appendage on the eastern side of this, but the rain that you've had now in Nashville is only going to get heavier quickly. Uh, let's go down to the south here, Sarah. You can see what's going on. Storms coming into Birmingham, Huntsville as well. We'll watch out for this stuff uh, that may surge. And a couple of tornado warnings in southern Mississippi and Alabama. These storms are rotating uh, and they could be producing a tornado. You change your style. Why not your eye color? New Air Optics Colors Prescription Contact Lenses enhance your eye color for a naturally beautiful look with consistent comfort. Find your perfect color and get a free trial offer at airopticscolors.com. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this. 
and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Bear Premium Plus with easy clean finish starting at $25.97 a gallon. This man has an accomplished research and analytical group at his disposal. But even more impressive is how he puts it to work for his clients. Morning. Morning. Thanks Hi. for meeting so early. Oh, it's not a big deal at all. Come on in. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. For engineers, it's tires, not just for performance, but real life performance. So before you get in, get going. Get gone. You need to get a tire that gets you. Because life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. Buy four qualifying Cooper tires and get up to a $70 prepaid card by mail. See retailer for details. Night, Ted. Night. Remember when your trunk wasn't smart enough to open for you? When only your living room had HD. Hi, babe. You're not gonna make it, are you? And a little weather could ruin your plans. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Well... Don't answer that. The all-new Genesis with H-Track all-wheel drive from Hyundai. One shot. Let's go twins right, 24 stretch. 24 stretch, all diamond. Twins right, 24 stretch, all diamonds on two. When the game's on the line. Hit them with a hard count. See if they'll tip their hand. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. They're blitzing up the gut. Get out of the pocket. <laughs> Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. I mean for the year. Hi, sorry, just want to say I bundled home an auto with State Farm, saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. So sorry. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? <laughs> Freaky! Savings worth talking about. State Farm. Tomorrow, the moment you wake up, turn on the Weather Channel for the essential first word on this week's severe weather. Right now, we're tracking storms that will affect tens of millions of Americans. Well, we want to get the latest on the timing and impact. Wake up and watch the Weather Channel for essential coverage of these severe storms starting at 5.30, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. An October to remember. The first killer tornado in October since 2009. Storms bringing down trees and power lines across parts of the south as the severe weather outbreak pushes east. We are here as long as it takes to make sure you and your family know what's coming your way. It's expert in-depth coverage you'll only see right here on Weather Center Live. And you saw the watches there, a brand new watch for portions of southern Alabama and northern Florida. This until 4 a.m. And look at the tornado warning here down toward Apple. Alachicola, Florida. As parts of Franklin and Liberty counties, you're under a tornado warning until 9:15 Eastern. Seek shelter immediately down as low as you can go, away from the windows. The storm moving toward the north. 
Storms are widespread tonight and will continue to be so during the overnight hours, continuing strong, even the possibility of tornadoes overnight. And I tell you what, we've already had so many power outages. You need to have those flashlights handy tonight. Absolutely. Look at Texas, over 11,000 customers, 46,000 customers in Louisiana, Arkansas, 1,600 without power, Mississippi and Tennessee, both having 2,000 customers without power at this time. All right, before warned now, we want to take you to the lab. That's where we find storm tracker Jim Cantori right now. That's right, he's going to time it all out for us. Hey, Jim. Yeah, hey, guys, and not on that list was Alabama. And remember, they got that big bow that moved from Birmingham all the way up into Tennessee. So there's power outages there, too, and we just got to make a smaller font to fit them on there, to be quite honest with you. There's going to be a lot of power outages, and we're not done in Alabama at all. As a matter of fact, that same area that got hit has a new tornado warning out near the Florence area uh, as we speak. So northern part of the line, uh, taking aim on Indianapolis. Middle part here, Louisville, you're in line for this. Uh, Nashville, this is what's coming at you. You already had one little area of storms that's come on through. Uh, thank goodness that weekend before it got into Nashville. But that's the one right there that produced the damage in Alabama earlier. Right there. Look at that thing rocket. That came all the way from the Gulf Coast about six hours ago. And it's, uh, I mean, I don't even think you can get on a plane that, and get out that quickly uh, into southern parts of uh, Kentucky. And north more storms down to the south. This is where a lot of these storms now are starting to rotate. We're at that time of the night with the low-level jets kicking in. That is just aiding to our low-level shear uh, that we have out in three. All right, Sarah, moving on. You can see why the Royals aren't playing tonight in Kansas City. They're right under the big comma head there. All right, uh, again, Indianapolis, uh, about an hour away or so as these storms continue to push on off to the northeast toward you. Keep an eye out here. Again, mostly a damaging wind threat and actually just timing it out for you. Indianapolis about 10.02. Uh, so about make that uh, half hour. Uh, or is that Central time, Sarah? Uh, it's Central time. All right, yeah. so that's uh, no, I, that'd probably be Eastern no, time. They no, don't, no, they don't no, change it's time. So, it's Eastern. Yes, yes. So, so looking at about an hour and a half, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, keep yeah. an eye out, guys. It uh, looks like certainly an hour, hour and a half coming your way. Uh, Louisville, again, these storms are heading off to your west. Uh, down here near the Welch's Creek area. Again, this is the same supercell that, at least at the moment, does not have a, a tornado warning on it, but it could easily go tornado again as it pushes on to the northeast. And that's exactly where we see the rotation. Uh, down to the south and through here once again. So it's just not rotating strongly enough to uh, issue a tornado warning. But believe me, we've seen them come and go tonight with this supercell, which is kind of out ahead of the main line, hopefully uh, soon to be absorbed. There's also a little bit of a bow on the back side of that, uh, again, to the west of Bowling Green. All right, so here's Nashville dealing with almost a north-south solid line here. The back edge of that has a little bit of a comma. We'll watch that surge into Nashville probably within uh, the next hour or so. So Malkov's going to have to deal with another area of heavy rain. Remember, the line is moving quick. This, the, the individual cells and, and the functions on the line itself are moving quickly to the north at about 50 miles per hour, but the storms themselves aren't moving that fast uh, off to the east, so probably more like about 20 miles per hour versus the 50 that everything's moving uh, on off to the northeast. So timing that out for you, Nashville, about 829, about an hour. That looks good, Sarah. It's about uh, 30 miles per hour also. Okay, at about 30 miles per hour, we get you at 829 uh, in downtown Nashville. All right, moving on, taking you uh, even further further to the south here. Here's northern Alabama looking at this storm here right over Florence right now. Muscle Shoals, Sheffield, you'll be in this as well. It's uh, one of those little appendages that's appeared on the line in through here and has surged out, continuing to make its way on off to the northeast. Uh, almost near St. Florian right now is the beginning of that uh, appendage. So watch out again. Uh, that's Colbert and Lauderdale counties. Moving on, Sarah, we'll show everybody uh, where actually we're going to time this out for you. So Killian, or Killian, excuse me, about 741. Lexington, Alabama, right there about 756. Five points, Tennessee, uh, about 8.03, about a half hour away, uh, if that appendage holds true. Either way, the line will probably be there pretty soon as well. So here's the high resolution radar. Let's get a look at this, uh, see if we can still see anything along that line that shows us uh, that we've got any spin. Not much in terms of the storm relative, a little bit of, uh, of normalized rotation up there near St. Florin. So just kind of going back a couple of scans, you can see that move from Florence uh, all the way up towards St. Florence. So weekly rotating uh, at the present time. That's what we like to report. And um, down to the south of that little appendage there, just to the southwest of Leeton, we need to keep an eye on. All right, a lot of these storms really from Appalachicola, uh, you can see it down here, all the way across to Panama City, into the Florida Panhandle, into southern Alabama and Mississippi are rotating. Look at the hook on that thing. 
Look at that. Just about to move into the McIntosh area. That's Washington County now. It's moved out of northern Mobile County. So Ma uh, McIntosh, uh, again, you've got a uh, hook uh, appendage. Move that a little bit off to the northeast here. There you go. Uh, so uh, Toinette, uh, about 747, uh, 752 in Sunflower, 814 around the Jackson area. This is all moving on to the north and east. Again, uh, it is rotating. There's a lot of rotation on these storms, believe it or not. Green Washington County is now in Mississippi. Or actually, Green's in Mississippi. Washington is... Uh, the same county, but now we're in the western part of Washington County for this storm that's in Mississippi. So there you see it. Uh, watch out around the Leakesville area as this pushes on to the northeast. I'm sure Sarah's timed this out for me. Looking at this, again, uh, Leakesville on up toward Fruitdale at about 7.56 p.m. And Weather Service is tying a possible debris signature with this storm now in Florida that we're on right now. Okay, so this is, uh, I don't have this one called up, but They're this is what I created the mobile for. The, but the Tallahassee National Weather Service Office is actually saying definite correlation definite coefficient, correlation coefficient. Signature So we've got, in what the Sarah radar. is telling me right now is we have a debris signature on the radar. Go ahead and put some street level mapping on here and actually show the, show the CC or do you have the radar called um, up? The 88D. Probably not. No, um, just the anyway, at the moment. So again, east of Apalachicola, uh, heading north here again into uh, Sop, Sop Choppy. Uh, so this is an area, certainly we watched this storm come ashore. It was really rotating uh, once it got ashore and now has continued to rotate enough so that we may have the, even a tornado uh, on the ground uh, in this area. So watch out again, guys. Uh, f basically central and northern Franklin counties and also Liberty County as this storm uh, has an impressive signature which continues to move to the north. You can actually see it as we loop it. Look at that thing come ashore. Now it's just big time wrapped up and there is a debris signature here uh, with this storm. We'll call up the high resolution radar here guys and get back to you that with that next time. But uh, all in all, a lot of dangerous storms tonight. We still have a long way to go. Now in Ohio County, Kentucky, that's probably the same supercell we're watching in Tennessee with a new tornado warning out. They just keep on coming. All right, Nick and Kelly, back to you in the studio. All right, Jen, thanks so much. And as we've been telling you, the, we expect the storm threat to continue overnight into the early morning hours. Yeah, the danger level goes up at night when you might be away from a television or a radio or maybe even asleep. Meteorologist Julie Martin shows you why the time to be weather ready is right now. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. They are terrifying even in broad daylight. When a tornado hits in the middle of the night, there's little time to think. Harrisburg, Illinois is a perfect example. A tornado struck in the early morning hours on February 29th, 2012, killing eight. Of course, we were sleeping, thinking, okay, we got to get up in the morning and go to work. Alice Retzloff and her family survived thanks to her daughter. She'd stayed up all night following the radar and warnings on TV. She came in about 4.30 and said, okay, we got to get in the basement. It's headed for us. Remaining vigilant overnight is the best way to stay safe. You can't rely on a tornado siren to jar you from sleep. There's no national requirement for sirens, and many areas don't have them. Having a NOAA weather radio or signing up for wireless alerts, even push notifications from the Weather Channel app can help keep you safe. Being ready for this next severe system is critical, so go over your family's weather plan now. If you don't have a basement, be sure to seek shelter in a small, windowless first floor interior room, like a closet or bathroom. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, the Weather Channel. All right, be ready when a tornado pops up in your county. If you're in a mobile home, very simply get out. Most tornadoes can destroy even tie down mobile homes. Get to the nearest sturdy permanent building. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
and motorcycle insurance. Isn't this romantic? It was. Going the distance to save you more. Now that's progressive. Great. This is the last thing I need. Seriously? The last thing you need is some guy giving you a new catalytic converter when all you got is a loose gas cap. Let's take this puppy over to Midas and get you some of the good old Midas touch. You know what? I'll drive. I really didn't think this through. Get the Midas Touch maintenance package, including an oil change, for only $24.99. And here's the deal. Use your Midas credit card and get a rebate of $25. Oil, tires, brakes, everything. Trust the Midas Touch. Remember the invite? Remember to make reservations? Absolutely. Remember the tickets? Absolutely. The generously appointed Lexus ES and ES Hybrid with leading edge connectivity. Unforgettable. I can do anything. The bed reacts to your body. Anything. It hugs you. I don't have to think about how to get comfortable anymore. The zip's off so I can wash it. Yes, please. Dude, Tempur-Pedic is killing it. No more tossing and turning, trying to find a comfortable spot in bed. It's really cool to the touch. My Tempur-Pedic cuddles better than my husband does. But that's just between you and me. Visit your local retailer and feel the Tempur-Pedic difference for yourself. There are cohabitants, and with that comes compromise. We give them a little extra space, accommodate their schedules, and sometimes we have to forgive. But when it comes to their nutrition, we never compromise. It's why at Petco, we're proud to offer Merrick, a leader in grain-free pet food made from regionally sourced ingredients in Merrick's own Texas kitchen to ensure the highest quality. Because for our best companions, only the best will do. Petco, the power of together. Hands were made for talking. Feet, tiptoeing. Better things than the pain, stiffness, and joint damage of moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. Before you and your rheumatologist decide on a biologic, ask if Zelljans is right for you. Zelljans tofacitinib is a small pill, not an injection or infusion, for adults with moderate to severe RA for whom methotrexate did not work well. Zelljans can relieve RA symptoms and help stop further joint damage. Zelljans can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers have happened in patients taking Zelljans. Don't start Zelljans if you have any infection, unless okay with your doctor. Tears in the stomach or intestines, low blood cell counts, and higher liver tests and cholesterol levels have happened. Your doctor should perform blood tests before you start and while taking Zelljans, and routinely check certain liver tests. Tell your doctor if you have been to a region where fungal infections are common, and if you have had TB, hepatitis B or C, or are prone to infections. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take. One pill, twice daily. Zelljans can reduce RA pain and help stop further joint damage, even without methotrexate. Ask about Zelljans. All right, guys, keeping an eye on severe thunderstorms tonight. We continue to get warnings out, and unfortunately, some of them are tornado warnings, and we even had confirmed tornadoes now in Florida. All right, let's talk about this. We're going to go north to south. Uh, we want to give our friends in Louisville kind of a heads up here. You can see pretty much a solid squall line off to your west. That is working its way off toward the east. Notice where there's just a little kink in the line right there. Uh, that's where the warning is, and that's where it's extended. That's where we're getting the wind on the back side of this thing roaring on in. So right along Highway 50 there is where I would be most worried about this storm uh, right in through there. Not necessarily because it's spinning. It could right in there, but for the most part, it's a damaging wind threat, which is going to move right up Highway 50. So that's a heck of a headwind uh, to have to deal with. Other than that, all this, again, marching uh, toward the Louisville metropolitan area a little bit later on. All right, again, this is the same supercell we watched in Mississippi. It is now moving up and has become a part of the line. Ohio County, watch out around Beaver Dam and the Fordsdale area. You can see this uh, kind of multi-road intersection in through here uh, to the south of Beta. That's where this is right now, and it's moving on off toward the north and east. As a matter of fact, we take a look at it for you with a little bit more detail. 
and you can see uh, on the high resolution radar, you can't really make much of uh, what is going on there until you start looking at the storm relative. All right, and then you can see uh, some pretty fast winds in through here. That's kind of interesting. It almost looks like it's kind of crossed some kind of a threshold here in terms of the higher winds on the west side. Normalized rotation, pretty strong uh, around the Horse Branch area. Actually, a couple of areas of, of uh, normalized rotation that are pretty strong in through here. And uh, thank goodness, no uh, correlation coefficient. Nothing that shows us that we have debris. So all those hydrometers or what they're looking at here, hydrometer size and shape are pretty much the same. But right near that donut, is where we have uh, some pretty good rotation going on uh, at the present time. All right, Sarah, moving on down the line. Um, please mind that tornado warning, too, because we've had a lot of history of action with oh, it. A lot of warning. appendage appendages here on this, uh, this this line, which is coming toward the Nashville area. Here's the main line right in through here. Uh, there's no warnings on it right now. but Just dropped it. Yeah, they just, okay, so they just dropped that warning out, but expect some heavy rain. And again, Nashville, what you can thank is that earlier line that's come on through. It may have stabilized things here in Music City a little bit, but that doesn't mean we're out of the woods. Uh, again, and don't be surprised if you get a quick warning on some of this stuff. We do have some interesting little appendages that are starting to hang off of some of these things here just to the west of Franklin. There's already been some wind damage here uh, with the line that came through earlier, but I really think that that, that line of storms which came uh, onto the north kind of stabilized things a little bit. The problem is, is you don't need a lot of instability with tonight. There's so much shear uh, going on. There's so much spin in the atmosphere that even just a little bit of height with these storms is allowing them to rotate quite a bit. All right, west of five points, down east of Florence now. A couple little buckles in the line. There's one. Uh, there's one a little bit further to the south as well. A little appendage on the leading edge of that. That's heading up again to the west of Decatur. We'll keep an eye on that right now. Current severe thunderstorm warning is out for Colbert and Lawrence. If anything becomes of this and it starts to rotate, You'll see this go quickly over to a tornado warning uh, from the Weather Service, I believe, out of the Huntsville office, which is monitored in these storms. So keep an eye out. Down to the south of that, we continue to watch storms in southern Alabama and Mississippi, uh, kind of discrete supercells that are moving north in the flow here. The main line, again, still off toward the west. Uh, some improvements for New Orleans probably in the next hour or two. But notice what's going on over into Florida here. We've got a pretty rural area tornado, as it's been uh, given to us uh, by the Weather Service. There was a National Weather Service employee out here he actually caught this thing. This is Franklin and Liberty counties. Uh, you can try and make heads or tails of that. We actually have two storms. There's one and there's another one back off to the southwest of that. But look at where the rotation is. Right there, clear as day, uh, we've got some rotation with this storm. And earlier on, a debris signature as we saw. Now, typically, Let's go back. Can we go back in time and step through this, Sarah? Well, we're, well that's about as far as I can go with this all right. one. Let's go, let's go to the, the, uh, storm, the uh, Gibson Ridge, and we'll look at this. What, uh, you know, what, what's interesting about this, this is a great example, actually, of, uh, of the high-resolution radar and how we can actually see uh, tornadoes with this thing. You look at this, you try and make heads or tails of it. You can see where the broad rotation is, right? Uh, yeah, okay, you can see where the broad rotation is right in through there. That's where we've got it. But look at this. If you step back just a little bit with this for a couple of scans, I mean, look at how tight that rotation was. All right, big time. Normalized is pretty strong right in that same place. And most importantly, guys, most importantly, here's the correlation coefficient. All right, pretty strong, pretty strong. That green area there, even stronger right where the tornado is, right there to the south. Tornado on the ground earlier tonight in Florida. This is Gordon, downtown for a sales call, west side for a presentation, meeting after meeting after meeting. That's why Gordon stops at Exxon and Mobil for fuels that help his engine run cleaner, smoother, and with better fuel economy, so he can make it to the meeting that matters most. Gordon is energy. Exxon and Mobil, energy lives here going to want to watch 7 a.m. on AMHQ. This is a big weather morning. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What you watch in the morning matters. It's your weather geeky this morning. Make AMHQ your morning show. America's morning headquarters. Weekday morning starting live at 7 Eastern on the Weather Channel. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under fair skies.
Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. When the game's on the line. Okay, this is for the game. The NFL trusts Duracell Quantum to power their game day communication. The board, the board, he's keeping it. Duracell Quantum lasts up to 35% longer than the competition. It's Chevy Truck Month, time when truck guys can depend on great offers on the 2014 North American Truck of the Year. Chevy Silverado, from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickups on the road. It's Truck Month. Trade up to this Silverado Crew Cab LT All-Star Edition for a total value of $8,500. It's Truck Month. See your local Chevy dealer today. This is our new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The tender, slow-roasted turkey, the zesty cranberry mustarda, the freshly baked flatbread. Paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup. A delicious meal made just for you. Only at Panera Bread. Apples are good. A Strongbow hard cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow... For all the confidence you need, TD Ameritrade, you got this. Will that be all, sir? Thank you. Ordering Chinese food is a very predictable experience. I order B14, I get B14. No surprises. Buying business internet, on the other hand, can be a roller coaster white knuckle thrill ride. You're promised one speed, but do you consistently get it? You do with Comcast Business, and often even more. It's reliable, just like Kung Pao Fish. Thank you, Ping. Reliably fast internet starts at $89.95 a month. Comcast Business, built for business. 96188 or go online to beactiverace.com. Call or click today. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. American Supernatural, Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Uh, all right, Jim, time for the tropical update here. We've got a couple of systems. We're watching this hurricane in the Leeward Islands and also in the Pacific for Hawaii, we've got a system. Let's get, though, first to Hurricane Gonzalo. It is currently pounding the northern Leeward Islands there. 80-mile-an-hour hurricane. Hurricane hunters out there now watching it very closely, measuring the pressure, which has been going down as the storm has strengthened through the day, still moving northwest at 12. So it's moving uh, where it's going to move closest this evening and overnight to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, but the worst of it will stay off those islands. And look at that. The center located five miles north of the island of St. Martin at this point. So the winds have gone down in that general St. Martin Anguilla area. Here on the satellite picture, we can see the core is here. Here are the Virgin Islands over here, Puerto Rico there. So the core is well away, but the circulation on this 80 mile an hour hurricane is being felt there in those islands. On the radar, we can see that core. It's a fairly small storm right there going right over. looks like the edge of it right over St. Martin and Anguilla and it went uh, very near St. Bart's earlier on today. Still some good squalls on the east side and some gusty squalls on the west side but certainly not the worst of the storm. Close up here look you can see the eye. It's a tight little eye there. The other thing you can see when I put the lines on there with the, the direction it was moving it's kind of made a little bit of jog to the right even a little farther 
further away from the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, and we'll see how that might affect the track a little later on. But still, hurricane uh, warnings in effect for those northern Leeward Islands and over into the British Virgin Islands. The system is expected to move to the northwest and then kind of hang a right uh, up toward Bermuda. So look at this. The Hurricane Center forecasting a, a category, strong category two, perhaps even a category three hurricane approaching uh, Bermuda later in the week. That would be stronger than Faye by a significant amount. But of course, we don't know whether it's going to go to the right or the left or go very close to the island. Too early to tell, but certainly something to watch there. Look at the streamlines over the Atlantic and the eastern United States. You can look at this all day. It's so full of information. First of all, down here on Gonzalo, look at the colors telling you where the strongest winds are. And notice the strongest winds not affecting Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. High pressure up to the north is funneling this tropical air into the east coast. And it's look at that, that funnel right there. That's where we're getting all that severe weather. That's ahead of the cold front here. So all the systems working together, that high pressure has got a break in it. See this break right in here? That's what's pulling Gonzalo to the north right now between these two high pressure cells. So what's going to happen moving ahead? The jet stream dip that's causing all the severe weather is going to take over the eastern side of the U.S. and that's going to divert Gonzalo to the north and we're confident this will not affect the east coast of the U.S. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, two systems and invest way out in the eastern Atlantic and fade to the north, neither of consequence. Now this one over here uh, in the Pacific though is of consequence. Here's why right now it's only a tropical depression to C. C because it's in the central Pacific. Only 35 mile an hour winds right now, but look at the forecast for this, uh, bringing it in the direction of the Hawaiian Islands and the Central Pacific Hurricane Center is estimating it to be a category one hurricane as it approaches uh, in the Saturday, late Friday, Saturday time frame. Now, this is an unusual situation in the Central Pacific once again, so a lot can happen and it would be unusual to get a hurricane approaching uh, the big island from that direction. On the water vapor, we see there's an upper level low right here. It's a forecast to move on out of the way and make the conditions somewhat favorable for strengthening in here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that toward the end of the week and into the weekend. All right, that's it. Uh, back to you in the studio. All right, thanks so much, Brian. Of course, the other big story, this severe weather that we are following this evening. We've got a line of storms stretching from the Great Lakes all the way down toward the Gulf Coast. You can see where we do have severe thunderstorm warnings that are currently in effect right along the Mississippi-Alabama border. But we've also had tornado warnings as well, cells that have been spinning up and showing rotation. Not only that, but we have had some debris signatures on radar as well. We're going to first start you off here in Alabama. We've got parts of Colbert and Lawrence County under a tornado warning till 8:15. Central Time. Watch out the storm moving relatively quickly toward the northeast. If you're in the cities of Hatton or Layton or maybe Town Creek, you need to get as low as you can go. Get down to the lowest level of your home and away from the windows while you're under that tornado warning. This is the uh, cell that we did see a tornado debris signature with and you can see right here in Florida. We're in the panhandle where we do a Franklin and Liberty counties under a tornado warning. That goes until 915 Eastern Time. Nick? We will be with you right through the morning hours covering the ongoing tornado threat. Wake up with Al starts early at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, followed by AMHQ with Sam Champion. That's at 7 Eastern. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
Tonight, two major weather threats and tens of millions of Americans in the path. A broad, severe storm system is pushing east, while we've got a hurricane that is right near Puerto Rico. We are here making sure you stay safe as we track and time it all out with in-depth expert analysis and extended live coverage. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. Weather radios will come in handy tonight, that is for sure. Make sure you've got it ready to go tonight before you go to bed. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Nick Walker. And we want to start off the severe weather outbreak across the South. The coverage of that the, with the first killer tornado in October since 2009. That's what we had earlier in the day. And we could see more tornadoes. There are active warnings out there right now. And these are the tornado watches. They extend all the way from, as you mentioned, Kelly, from the Great Lakes South to the Gulf Coast, and some of these go until 4 a.m. That's right, so definitely be on alert and be prepared to lose your power already. Thousands of customers are without power as we speak. In fact, you can see the list right here, over 9,000 customers in Texas, 45,000 customers without power in Louisiana, Tennessee, over 3,000, Mississippi and Alabama. Wow, Alabama now, look at that, almost 39,000 customers are in the dark right now. Yeah, I think we're going to see more there in Alabama as well as in Tennessee and perhaps Florida too. Ongoing thunderstorms in all of these areas. So so let's head over to the lab right now and talk with storm tracker Jim Cantori. See what we're seeing on the radar right now. Yeah, guys, and just to kind of give everybody a recap, uh, we, we've pretty much been at this now for about 24 hours. And if you go back and look at what's happened in the last 24 hours, you can see why we've had uh, about 288 reports. Now, this is just the funnel clouds, the uh, thunderstorm wind damage at 223, the gusts at 45, and tornadoes actually at 12. So we've had 12 tornado reports uh, in the past 24 hours or so. And pretty much getting started in Texas and Oklahoma. Really busy this morning, as you know, in Arkansas, uh, across Louisiana as well just kind of putting these into motion you can see them added on per hour but really got busy this afternoon and tonight really from Illinois down through Tennessee Mississippi and on uh, now into Alabama as well and what was interesting is that line that came from the south and then uh, pretty much moved all the way across Alabama really went severe around Birmingham went up through Huntsville and Cullman and then dissipated right before it got into Nashville uh, but that was kind of a pregame event there now we watch that same area under the gun with the main squall line itself. There you can see what was left of that, by the way, that little line. You see that? That south to north line coming right off the Gulf of Mexico and uh, moving north. Took about five, six hours to get up there. But now we still have a solid line. Indianapolis down to the west of Louisville. Nashville, again, it's on your doorstep. Huntsville and all the way down toward the Gulf Coast. Let's take a look at this. Still got a few tornado warnings out there we got to talk about. Uh, here's Louisville. Here's Indianapolis. You can see the storms off to the west, and this is all coming at you. Damaging wind threats, certainly, with these as these storms move off toward the uh, north and east. But down to the south, we are still watching that same supercell, which got its start all the way back in Mississippi. Seriously. It moved across Tennessee just to the southeast of Clarksville, moved up and down to south central Kentucky, and is still at times uh, rotating, even though at this point it seems like it's lost its rotation here. So that's a good thing. But you know what? It's kind of blending. It's starting to become a part of the main line now. And so either way, it is uh, potentially going to energize that line and create a little bit of a spin-up. So we'll keep an eye on it for you. That uh, tornado warning just about to expire in about four minutes or so uh, for Ohio County. All right, Nashville, uh, I don't like what I see here. I've got a little bit of a bow and an appendage on the east side of this, which is coming on through. We are sub-severe uh, with this, so that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is there could be a little spin here. There could also be a little spin here that develops quickly on the line. So just be on the lookout in case the Weather Service puts out a warning. Could get a little bit of a severe storm here that moves uh, into the Nashville metropolitan area from the west. You can see it here. It looks like the bulk of this is going to come right over downtown Nashville. So we do have a little bit of a bow here, a little bit of a charge in the wind that's causing this little appendage here, maybe a little spin up uh, right here or up toward Ashland City. If we get a warning out, uh, we will let you know for uh, probably Dickinson County, I would believe. Lawrence a County here to the south. This is northern Alabama again. Hatton, North Cortland, Town Creek. Uh, talk about appendages on the main line here. Look at this. One, two, three down to the south. Here's the main line. And what's interesting is you look at the radar here. There's the tornado warning. Uh, there are so many little shear zones. In other words, little areas where the air is, is kind of coming together. Look at that. There's one. Uh, here's one up in here. 
here's one, here's one. I mean, they're just endless. So there's almost a chance for a, a quick spin up or a quick rush of damaging wind uh, all along that line as it pushes off to the east. Just timing out what's left of that tornado warning. We're going to put that uh, within the tornado warning and actually extend it just in case the weather service does. Rogersville, Coxie, Lexer, Lexter, excuse me, Stella and uh, Kendron uh, at about 840 if all this moves to the northeast. But as we showed you on the storm relative, there's a lot of little spins on that line. So, you know, A, that tells me there's a damaging wind threat, and B, uh, that tells me there could be a quick spin up on that line as well. All right, uh, into Alabama, Mississippi on the border here, looking at storms uh, off toward the west. This is a severe thunderstorm warning for Green, Perry, and Wayne County. We will keep an eye on these discrete cells off to the east in case they start to rotate as they did before. And also into the Florida panhandle, we continue to watch storms uh, working their way to near Panama City and also Apalachicola. So here's a look at the uh, Florida Panhandle. We watched this storm come ashore earlier on, rotate, and now get swallowed by yet another storm. There's not much rotation left on this thing, all right, but there was earlier. As a matter of fact, there was a, a tornado which was uh, spotted down here to the north of Apalachicola. The good news is this is very forested area right in through here. Few homes, that's a few too many, especially if you're in the harm's way of the tornado, but that's what the, uh, that's what the report from the Weather Service employee said. But it kind of, it's kind of interesting. We still have a signature here, a hook signature uh, that, you know, could start to rotate again. Before, when that thing came ashore, it didn't do that. But now, uh, certainly, it has the chance of doing that again. There's, there's just so much shear out through here that uh, any one of these storms could rotate. Any one of them. It may not just be rotating vigorously at the time we show it to you, but the signature suggests rotation, at least at some level. All right, so here we are at midnight. Um, yeah, this is, let's let's punt this year, Sarah, just because I think it, we probably haven't updated the model yet, and I think we'll it's uh, check it again. Yeah, and we'll update that model. But here we go through tomorrow night. We'll watch the storms come through Atlanta in the morning hours. We'll watch them come through Lexington and Cincinnati. Uh, Columbus, you're in this Charleston, West Virginia, uh, with peak fall color right now. I saw a picture of Charleston, West Virginia the other day. I, I've, I've got to tweet that. I think I favored it. Just gorgeous fall color right now. This is going to blow a few uh, leaves off the trees, no question about it. Ash. You're in this Greenville, Spartanburg, Augusta, Charlotte, the Queen City, uh, down through uh, again East Central Georgia into northern Florida, into the Jacksonville Lake City area. You've got a severe thunderstorm chance right through tomorrow night, and the chances are here for uh, again even a few tornadoes. Mostly though, guys, again a damaging wind threat, but you cannot rule out, especially with a big negative tilt trough like we're going to have, uh, the chance at tornadoes again. That means a change in wind direction with height. Again, new tornado warning issued for northern Alabama here. Watch out around the Athens area. This is for Lauderdale, Lawrence, and Limestone counties. 38,000 without power in Alabama. Here at High Acres, we always say, life is better on the farm. And that's because we love what we do, which is growing the best tasting fruit available. After months of nurturing, our orchards are bursting with crispy, delicious apples. And we can't wait for you to taste them. That's why we work with Walmart. They help us deliver some of the freshest apples available, backed by their 100% money-back guarantee. Picked by farmers, guaranteed by us. You change your style, why not your eye color? New Air Optics Colors Prescription Contact Lenses enhance your eye color for a naturally beautiful look with consistent comfort. Find your perfect color and get a free trial offer at airopticscolors.com. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Blah, blah, insurance. Person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you get to a better state. Tomorrow. I bought 51% of this business. I now control you, and I can throw you out. Marcus Lamonis does whatever it takes to fix a failing business. I'm 100% in charge. The Profit. All new episodes premiere tomorrow, 10 Eastern and Pacific, on the fastest growing network in primetime. What I say goes. CNBC. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under fair skies.
tonight. Some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High 87. Chance of rain 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. There it is. This is where I met your grandpa. Right under this tree. Some things are worth holding on to. They're hugging the tree. That's why we got a Subaru. Was it that tree? Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. This is a pip. It's part of a Hershey's bar. We break it. We bite it. We sneak it. We smush it. We savor it. We love it. Hershey's is mine. Yours. Our chocolate. You smell nothing. You smell nothing. Introducing the best lightweight litter for odor elimination, guaranteed. Fresh Step Extreme. Lightweight. Welcome back, everyone, as we continue to cover the severe weather outbreak that is ongoing right now and is likely to continue overnight tonight as you all go to sleep. And that always presents a special danger during the overnight hours because, you know, you want to go to sleep, right. but you've got thunderstorms coming your way. There might be warnings, maybe even life-threatening warnings, mm -hmm. where you will need to be awakened so you can get to safety. Yeah, you may not be able to hear the siren or maybe the siren malfunctions, you know, God forbid that happen, but you really need to have a backup plan. And that's why we have these weather radios here on display. Uh, this one actually doesn't even need batteries. You just crank it up, right? Yeah, you just, uh, just crank it. And, and, you know, we've been playing with this a little bit and it really does have a pretty good charge in it once you give it a, a few cranks. We've got a little light on there. Yeah, turns on, no batteries in it, mm -hmm. just from the crank. This is just one example of the kinds of weather radios that we, we can get. And we, we recommend that you, you know, if you're ahead of these thunderstorms by a few hours, that you get out and uh, maybe supermarket, electronic store, that's where you can buy these. Mm -hmm. If, however, you are already under warnings and these thunderstorms are headed your way, don't try to get out. Just, you know, keep it tuned to the Weather Channel. We'll give you your warnings. And best, best place to go in a tornado warning is take this down to the basement mm -hmm. with you if you don't have a basement down into a closet or a small interior hallway that doesn't have any windows, preferably. One of those areas that has seen tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings is the Nashville area. And we're not quite out of the woods yet here in Middle Tennessee. In fact, Dave, Looking at the radar, it looks like you're about to get hit pretty hard. Yeah, we're about to get here. We're just in the next couple of minutes, probably while I'm talking to you here. Uh, we have just talked to the National Weather Service, and they say that they are not issuing for this next line of storms. No tornado warnings, no uh, uh, thunderstorm warnings, no flash flood advisories. This one, they are expecting to just blow through just like the last one did and, uh, and cause no real damage here in Nashville. But the problem is the rain. They are thinking that this All right, a little bit of rain fade there because we do have the heavy rain that's moving back into the music city of Nashville. So Nick, uh, show us what it looks like on the radar and where the worst of it is right now. Yeah, not completely unexpected when we get those thunderstorms moving across. So we'll try to get back to Dave as soon as we can. In the meantime, let me show you the radar because we've got thunderstorms all the way from New Orleans northward up through the Midwest. And many of these thunderstorms are warned. In fact, we've got a tornado warning right here into uh, the northern areas of Alabama as thunderstorms get ready to cross over from Alabama up toward Tennessee. 
Lauderdale, Lawrence, and Limestone counties under those warnings right now. You need to look out around Athens, North Kirtland, and Rogersville. We've got some rotation with this thunderstorm now as it's crossing Interstate 72 and moving off toward the northeast. Interstate 65 next in line for this. So you don't want to be out in this at all. Get to the lowest level of your home, away from windows, and stay there until these thunderstorms have passed you by. We've had all kinds of problems here around the panhandle of Florida this evening with thunderstorms that have erupted and even some tornado warnings on those and even uh, reports of some damaged homes in the area as well. Choctaw County under a warning here in uh, Mississippi. This for Butler. Lisman and Pennington. This is an area where you very well could see some damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour, and it has a history of already producing wind damage too. We're watching out for a few hail reports to come in as well, but by far the biggest reports of damage have been that uh, thunderstorm wind damage. Harrison and Jackson County, as we move southward now into uh, the Biloxi and Gulfport area, under warnings for the possibility of some of those damaging winds as this thunderstorm line continues to progress very slowly eastward. We're going to see this move through portions of Mississippi and into Alabama as well. So stay with us. We'll continue to keep you apprised of the changing scenario here as we move through the south tonight. Musical chairs. Fun, right? Well, not when your travel rewards card makes it so hard to get a seat using your miles. That's their game. The flights you want are blacked out, or they ask for some ridiculous number of miles. Honestly, it's time to switch to the Venture card from Capital One. With Venture, use your miles on any airline, any flight, any time, no blackout dates. And with every purchase, you'll earn unlimited double miles. From now on, no one's taking your seat away. What's in your wallet? Fatherhood. Lesson number one. Did you see the light? Pregnant wives have late night cravings. Um, the ice cream, please? Lesson number two, you. make sure you get her ice cream in a cup with a lid. That's why you want accident forgiveness from Allstate. It keeps your rates from going up just because of an accident. Plus, when you switch today, you could save up to 10% more on your auto policy. Just a few more ways. The good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 866-532-0707 now. Making jackets that are built to perform anywhere is hard work. And at L.L. Bean, we take our job very seriously. Guaranteed quality, no matter what you're up against. From L.L. Bean. Apples are good. A Strongbow hard cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow-motion horse, the bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. This week on America's Morning Headquarters, going green sounds great, but can you do it and stay high-tech? Gadget guru Jen Jolly shows us the tools we need to go eco and tech. That's me 12 years ago in my Alvaline commercial. And your skin still looks so young. Well, I never take off my makeup with soap and water. Too drying. I use Alvaline. Alvaline for younger looking skin. And something new, Alvaline in a convenient tube. When you're diabetic, one of the important things about keeping yourself healthy is keeping your skin hydrated. Gold Bond Diabetics Dry Skin Relief. Nine out of ten saw noticeable improvement in just one hour. Dry skin is under control. Gold Bond really works. I would love to see you take a ride in the space shuttle. Seriously, think about it. I've been in a space shuttle before. Didn't really go for a ride in it because the clearances are incredibly complicated. It got me thinking, you know what I've never done? I've never gone for a ride on a motorized skateboard. So somebody should do that. It's a great suggestion. Keep them coming. Brought to you locally by South Florida Ford. Go further. Online at SouthFloridaFord.com. Clear headlights in just seconds. The last time you'll have to restore your headlights. Call 1-800-709-2281. Order now. If you miss this Sunday night on the Weather Channel, you'll never know how twisted weather can be. Wicked Weather Sundays. Every Sunday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned for your local on the 8, brought to you by Del Monte's Yummy New Fruit Burst Squeezers. What's in a can of Del Monte green beans? If I was a flower growing wild and free, all 
I'd wanted you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd wanted you to shade me and be my lead. Grown in America, picked and packed at the peak of ripeness, with no artificial ingredients. Del Monte, bursting with life. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Tennessee, one area that has been really hard hit here this evening. We're continuing to get in pictures from that area. And also, we've got live reports coming in from the Nashville area as well as more thunderstorms are pushing into the region. We continue to see a tornado watch that's in effect, including Nashville, until midnight tonight. Also, a flash flood watch in effect as well. We've already had a line of storms move through earlier. Dave, what's it like out there now? It's still raining and it just got done raining pretty hard down here on the streets of downtown Nashville. The storm has been popping all over the United States, all the way from the Gulf up to the Great Lakes. So we have had lots of areas of damage throughout here, even in this state. But uh, we are now seeing what may be the end to this part of this storm. And, uh, that doesn't mean that this is completely ending all throughout the United States. We may see the end of this in just a little bit, but the flash flood advisory, yes, that does in, remain in effect because this has been a very unusually wet month so far. We have five inches here in Nashville, but as you can see on the radar right now, this storm is potentially still dangerous throughout Tennessee as it moves east and it will keep moving east through about Wednesday here in the United States. All right, Dave, at least uh, in the wake of all this, it will be beautiful weather. But first, we have to get through the next couple of hours, and it looks pretty dangerous still. It, it could be a rough next few hours here for the Nashville area and much of the uh, middle to south uh, end of this, too. So let's bring in our storm tracker, Jim Cantori. He's in the lab right now watching the radar. And where's the worst of this right now, Jim? Uh, probably northwest Alabama, which is where they have uh, a couple of tornado warnings out, and I'll show you why in just a second. But uh, Dave's in for some interesting weather because he is dealing with the, the prefrontal squall line. All right, that's out ahead of the main front. Then he's still got to wait for the cold front, which will probably come in after midnight tonight for Nashville. So, you know, and then the real true cold front, which is back through Missouri and Arkansas at the present time, which really brings in the, the, the cooler air. But uh, this is what I was watching earlier, kind of move its way up through Nashville. It's off uh, to the north of Nashville right now, up around Springfield. There was this little appendage that kind of came rocking up through here. But there's another one down to the south uh, we'll keep an eye on, which is going to make its way to the north. But we really don't have a lot of light with this. Uh, this is what's going to come in, I think, to downtown Nashville, or at least on the west side. And then we have yet another batch of storms down to the west of Columbia that is also going to come over uh, Nashville. So the north-south part of the line is not moving quickly all that fast. It's only going about 20 miles an hour or so. But notice all the individual stuff on the line is rocketing off to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. And so that's why we're going to see wave and wave and wave of rain uh, into Dave. And he's going to look even further like a drowned rat, as he called it in his tweets. By the way, this is why I told you on Twitter today the Royals weren't playing. You're sitting right under the upper air low. And so it is just uh, pouring back there. Uh, so I actually think that works in the favor of the, of the Orioles. They need to have something 
to calm down the Royals, who are just absolutely red hot right now uh, in the postseason. It's almost like destiny, isn't it? Off to the west of Indianapolis, to the west of Louisville. You still got to deal with that line. Nashville, you're in it. Here's the part of the line that's kind of pushing it across Alabama. And then you can see these warnings all the way down through uh, the Mississippi-Alabama line and even out over the water. Now, we talked earlier about the supercell that uh, started in northern Mississippi and has traveled all the way. Now, this is, look at it. It's out ahead of the main squall line, all the way to the north, all the way to the north right now. Now, it's just being absorbed uh, by the squall line, but it traveled uh, for, for 175 miles in about four and a half hours and unfortunately produced tornadoes along the way starting uh, down into southern parts of uh, Tennessee. Now, this is this north-south marine warm front, as we call it. Here's the main squall line off to the west. Watch what happens to this. Boom, goes severe in Birmingham. Boom, goes severe in Huntsville. Then it weakens and gets absorbed by the main line. And now here comes the main squall line to come through uh, both of these areas as well. So some wild weather today, guys. Compliments of some very strong low-level winds in the atmosphere uh, and some wind shear, a component, one of those uh, components that's favorable for rotation in storms. And we've seen a lot of that tonight. We've had a dozen tornadoes reported, we've had funnel clouds reported, and lots of wind damage. Almost 300 reports in the last 24 hours. We'll be right back. Need brakes? Pep Boys has the best brake service at the best price. Right now, get $50 off instantly on Precision Match Brake Service exclusively at Pep Boys. That's 50 off instantly. Trust the boys to get you there. Apples are good. A Strongbow Hard Cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow-motion horse? The bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. Shopping online is as easy as it gets. Wouldn't it be great if hiring plumbers, carpenters, and even piano tuners were just as simple? Thanks to Angie's List, now it is. Start shopping online from a list of top-rated providers. Visit Angie'sList.com today. I mean, for the year. Hi, sorry, just want to say, I bundled home an auto with State Farm, saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. So sorry. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Savings worth talking about. State Farm. From residential to commercial, from large loss to emergency response, whenever damage strikes, call on the cleanup team that's faster to any size disaster at 1-800-SERVE-PRO, like it never even happened. Introducing a PM pain reliever that dares to work all the way until the AM. New Aleve PM, the only one with a safe sleep aid plus the 12 hour strength of Aleve. We put all the apps you love inside a car designed to connect you to a world of possibilities. The Connected Car by Volvo. Innovating for you. Discover Card, how can I help you? Oh, you're real? You know I'm real. At Discover, we're always here to talk. Good. Because I don't have time for machines. Some companies just don't appreciate the power of conversation. You know I like you. I like you too. At Discover, we treat you like you'd treat you. Get the It Card and talk to a real person. If you have Medicare Part D, you could be at the corner of I'm throwing away money and I had no idea. Well, Walgreens has your back. Our expert pharmacists make it easy for you to save on your prescriptions so you can keep your money where it belongs. Swing by Walgreens where you could save even more with Medicare prescription co-pays as low as $0 at the corner of Happy and Healthy. Zantac Heartburn Alert! Stop! Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Let's get weather geeky this morning. I'm going to kind of walk you through the life cycle steps of a tornado, including what first begins as a funnel cloud. As it gets organized, that funnel comes all the way down to the ground. You often then see debris. Look at the shape it takes on. Very cylindrical. Then gradually dissipates. Crazy stuff. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies.
tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Supernatural Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Welcome back to the special edition of Weather Center Live as we continue to monitor our severe weather that is making its way across the Midwest down toward the south and moving eastward. You can see all those red boxes right there. Those are active tornado watches that are in effect from Illinois, Indiana, all the way down to the Florida Panhandle, back into southern Mississippi and Alabama as well. And the one down there by the Gulf Coast, that goes all the way till 4 o'clock in the morning. Morning. This is an all-night mm -hmm. event once again here across the south. You are watching continuing live coverage of the October severe weather outbreak. And we're already seeing plenty of damage from this. And unfortunately, one death in Arkansas from a tornado touchdown earlier this morning. Another death this afternoon in Dora, Alabama. That's in Walker County. An elderly woman was killed when a tree crashed into her mobile home. And we're talking thousands without power right now. Check out the list here with Texas. Over 11,000 customers are in the dark. Louisiana topping the list really with more than 46,000 without power. Arkansas, 1,600. Mississippi, more than 2,000. Tennessee, over 2,000 customers. In Alabama, I believe they had up around uh, 40,000 customers without power the, as well. The number there just keeps rising in Alabama. We want to take you now to the lab. That's where we find storm tracker Jim Cantori. He's timing and tracking with expert analysis on the severe weather. Griffin. Yeah, guys, and what was interesting, too, about Alabama is they had this pregame squall that came literally out of the Gulf of Mexico across the Florida Panhandle and right up north into Tennessee where it eventually dissipated, but literally from just south of Birmingham uh, all the way up through Huntsville and Coleman and even into southern Tennessee, we had damaging winds. And, I mean, we're talking power poles that were just snapped snapped at the base so that was a big problem in through there uh with that squall line and that was you know now we're just getting into the main action out ahead of the cold front so big sprawling upper level low you can see it right in through here of course a jet stream coming in on the back side of this thing and coming around the base of that low and that's what's helping to create this large scale area of ascent or rising air motion out ahead of that and so showers and storms galore uh, as a result of this and we kind of take you in and show you the last 24 hours and here it is, 288 reports, funnel clouds 8, tornadoes 12, damaging winds 223, thunderstorm wind gusts 245. So what is that? Uh, 268 of 288 are damaging winds or wind gusts over severe uh, or 58 miles per hour. So that's pretty impressive to say the least. And you can see a lot of them have come with the squall line since this morning. This is all uh, last night. There was a tremendous amount of damage uh, east of Dallas uh, because of winds there gusted uh, to about 70, 80 miles per hour during the overnight. There's a lot of a lot of delayed reports coming in, and we'll probably see more of that even across uh, our area. So here's the current setup. This is the cold front that says goodbye to everything. All right, everything's stable behind that. But if you do a little pre-analysis here, we actually have the squall line, which is about right in here, and then the actual cold front itself, which is about right in here. All right, so there's there's kind of a secondary cold front that you see uh, to the back, uh, to off toward the west here. That's the one you really want to come through. This one is the one that's going to kind of clear us out in terms of the rainfall, but it's this prefrontal squall line here that's got all the action with it this, more, this afternoon and this evening, and that's what's continuing to march on off toward the east. So it's, it's kind of a complicated analysis, but you know if you're in this big warm sector here, uh, it is warm, it is humid, and uh, that's that's where all the action is in terms of the showers and the thunderstorms. So, uh, taking a look at Nashville, again, we're in this for a while. Remember, you're just on the squall line now. Out to the west of you is going to be the actual cold front. So you got that one-two punch, probably keeping us active in Nashville till about midnight. There are several pockets of heavy rain that are rotating north uh, into the Nashville area. Let's take you, is this new? Is this a new tornado yeah, this warning? brand new. Brand new Popped here, right in the northern part of, look at that. Look, look at that. You see, you see how incredible the, I mean, the jet stream comes around that upper low and brings that rotating uh, wind uh, with height all the way up toward Kankakee. 
That's a, that's a shocker right there. We'll call up the high resolution radar and look at that, but the problem is it's gonna move right up in parallel I-57 uh, toward Mantino. So uh, keep an eye out here. Mantino uh, it's may have even cross you and come uh, into I-57 here. It's actually probably moving to the north of, uh, just to the west of north. So that is a problem there for you here. Uh, again, it's probably radar indicated, isn't it? It is radar indicated. Okay, I'm gonna time indicated. it out too. So Kankakee County, uh, Mantino, Mantino, you are on the, uh, the the cusp here of this as it moves on to the north. I'll get the high resolution radar in uh, just a moment. So uh, pu pull that a little bit to the wet, make it almost more a more of a northerly movement, Sarah, kind of parallel the, okay. the actual uh, the actual uh, tornado warning. So we're talking about uh, Yellowhead, uh, Mantino. You're going to be in this Moni potentially as this all moves uh, toward the north. So new tornado warning, this time uh, out of the areas where we haven't seen much action tonight. And this is all the way up into northern Illinois. But remember, you bring that low-level jet, you bring that low-level wind uh, profile up to the north, and it's going to affect you, no question about it. Storms to the north of Nashville, storms to the southwest. This is probably our heaviest rain now, which is going to come right across town and then another batch of rain here through Columbia, we're going to probably have to deal with that as well. So we're going to be into pockets of some very, very heavy rain, maybe even get a flash flood warning out uh, in the Nashville metropolitan area. Off to the south of that, there seems to be more of a surge in the line, and that's where we're getting the damaging wind potential, and that's why we have the warnings out. So Giles, Lawrence, and Maury counties, uh, Mount Pleasant, Pulaski, you're in this as well as the south part of the line surges, and every once in a while we'll see a little appendage appear on that line, and we could get a little brief rotation here or brief enhancement uh, in the damaging winds. All right, heading pretty much right down I-65, Huntsville down through Cullman, uh, continuing to the west of Birmingham. It is an absolute light show here. This is a part two of the storms. The good news is we don't have any warnings out. That earlier line may have actually stabilized things a little bit uh, up in this region. But we take you down to the south. We've still got a lot of instability. Uh, remember that, that that squall line came up here through the Florida Panhandle and through Alabama. Didn't really impact this area so much. So we still have a lot of instability and a lot of chances here for some damaging wind. Really from uh, west central Alabama down through Biloxi, Gulfport, Pascagoula, Mobile, Still haven't seen the worst of the storms. Those are going to be coming on through. And we'll keep an eye on this. Looks like a little surging area in the bow coming uh, into uh, Alabama now uh, off uh, toward the west into uh, Choctaw and Washington counties. Boy, Washington has been in a severe thunderstorm or a tornado warning now for the last three hours of some sort. So you're, you're getting it from all sides. And then, of course, out ahead of the front, here's the front right here, just pushing through Jackson now. We've got this stratiform rain left over. So the heavy stuff and the stratiform rain, then the cold front, and then we quiet things down until the secondary cold front moves through tomorrow. A lot of action here, Kelly, but we still have a long night ahead of us, especially for parts of Alabama, Tennessee, and uh, parts of the Florida Panhandle. Back to you. All right, Jim. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to get through all of this. And, of course, the safest place to go when a tornado hits is underground. But where do you go if your home doesn't have a basement? Meteorologist Mark Elliott has the answer that will help you get weather ready. When you're under a tornado warning or you hear a tornado siren, and especially if you can see that tornado, now is not the time to grab that smartphone and start filming. Oops. Instead, it's time to get inside and seek shelter. You run inside to seek shelter from the storm and come up to your bedroom, which normally is pretty safe, until of course a tree crashes through your roof. Coming down to a lower level, great idea. Trying to see where the storm is outside those windows, bad idea. It was a good idea to leave the windows, but this exterior wall doesn't help you as much as you might think. No, tree limbs or two by fours, they're like toothpicks when winds get as fierce as in these storms. Yes, your garage is on ground level and has four sides. No, it isn't going to protect you the way you want it to. So this is where you do want to be. Not only a low level, but the lowest level you've got. And you want to put as many walls between you and the storm as possible. And then you stay here until it's safe. Because this room could be the one thing that saves your life. All right, we want you to be safe tonight. In fact, if you are under a tornado warning, keep this in mind. If you're in a mobile home, very simply get out. Most tornadoes can destroy even tied down mobile homes. And get to the nearest sturdy permanent building. We'll be right back after your local on the 8th. Stay with us for this special edition Weather Center Live as we continue to monitor the severe weather threat all night long.
currently in our area, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The tender, slow-roasted turkey, the zesty cranberry mustarda, the freshly baked flatbread, paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup. A delicious meal made just for you, only at Panera Bread. It's a great day to try Panera Bread's Fuji Apple Chicken Salad. This Halloween, when things go bump in the night, inspire daring pursuits that thrill and delight with goodies from PetSmart. Now save up to 25% on all Halloween treats, plus save 20% on all Halloween costumes. PetSmart. Apples are good. A Strongbow hard cider, better. But Strongbow over ice is the best. Enjoying Strongbow over ice with your slow motion horse, the bestest. Strongbow, world's number one hard cider. Remember the hassle of vacuuming before the Dyson DC-59 motorhead? Before our direct drive cleaner head increased brush power to outclean the five best-selling full-size vacuums across carpets and hard floors without the hassle of a cord. Yoplait Light is now better than ever. It still melts in your mouth with 90 calories and is now aspartame-free. Yoplait Light. It is so good, it's better than ever. Since 1902, Carrier has been inventing new ways to make people comfortable. And today, we're thinking even bigger, thinking about the specifics of your home and how you live in it. What if you could control your home's energy usage with a fingertip? Or just let us do all the work for you? Well, what if is now what is. Carrier, turn to the experts. Who the heck wants to hear actors talk? Meet the unsung heroes of innovation who defied the doubters and changed the world on How We Got to Now, Wednesday at 9, 8 central, only on PBS. We all have to plan for retirement. But when we start worrying about tomorrow, we miss out on what matters today. At AXA, we offer advice and help you break down your retirement goals into small, manageable steps. Because when you plan for tomorrow, it helps you live for today. Can we help you take a small step? For advice, retirement, and life insurance, connect with AXA. There are two reasons why I need to keep an eye on my health. Oh. That's why I take Metabiotic, a daily probiotic, with 70% of your immune system in your gut, new multi-health metabiotic with Bioactive 12 helps maintain digestive balance and is proven to help support a healthy immune system. I take care of myself so I can take care of them. <laughs> Experience the meta effect with our new multi-health wellness line and see how one small change can lead to good things. Two million cappuccinos! Let's show them what a breakfast with whole grain fiber can do. I have two cappuccinos, medium macchiato, two espressos, one with a double shot. And that's not the coffee talking. Start your day with Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat Cereal. It's a delicious way to get the nutrition you want. You know what my business philosophy is, Reynolds? No, not exactly. To attain success, I must project success. That's why we use FedEx One Rate. They're flat rate shipping. Exactly. It makes us look top-notch, but we know it's affordable. Honey, haven't I asked you to please we use We don't have a reception entrance. entrance. Ship a pack via FedEx Express Saver for as low as $7.50.
All right, guys, an active 24 hours of severe thunderstorms. We've had 288 so far. A lot of times uh, we'll see these added to the next day uh, of just funnel cloud, tornado, and damaging wind reports. And, of course, most of those have been damaging wind, with the exception of 12 reported tornadoes. This all got started last night, the west of Texas, uh, in Oklahoma as well. Some big storms here. Winds gusted 70, 80 miles per hour. Uh, calmed down a little bit this morning and then really fired up about daybreak all the way from Missouri and uh, Louisiana. And you can see what's happened this afternoon. It's just been warning after warning uh, after warning. All right, here's the current analysis. And if you're wondering why you're a little cooler down in northeast Georgia or parts of western North Carolina, that's because there's that old wedge that's kind of stuck right in through here. Just a little bit of a wedge the front uh, in through here. The squall line you can see is showed up right here. So that's where all the action is. It's out ahead of that squall line right there. Then this cold front comes through. That's the end of the precip. And then the real cold air, the true cold front is back here, just getting ready to come through Oklahoma City or actually coming through Oklahoma City and getting ready to come through Dallas. So that's how it looks from an analysis standpoint. Uh, in case you're wondering why you're not playing tonight in Kansas City, Luck of the draw, you're sitting right underneath the, the upper air low. All right, little dis, little uh, low top supercell here in northern Illinois. Believe it or not, this was tornado warned on earlier. It's not rotating as well right now, so that's the good news. It did have some rotation earlier uh, near, near Mantino, and now it is pushed on off uh, toward the north and east. Heading down toward Nashville, there is now a severe thunderstorm warning out to the south of Nashville. This is the stuff near Columbia, which is moving on to the north. We may see this if it is a damaging wind threat. Uh, also get extended into Nashville area, but this is the stuff, again, we watched all the way into northern Alabama move now pretty much due north. That's the main squall line, so we're going to have about an hour of that, Kelly, unfortunately, and that could mean uh, even a little bit of damaging wind in the Nashville area. Wind 60, maybe to 70 miles an hour, but probably more like 60. All right, back to you, Kelly and Nick. All right. Thanks so much, Jim. It's been a rough, rough day for thousands today. And, and the storm that swept through Monroe, Louisiana, damaged homes and businesses and left residents without power for much of the day. Some are still in the dark tonight. Local news anchor Heather Parker joins us live on the phone with more on the storm and its aftermath in Monroe. And Heather, I understand you yourself had to seek shelter as the storm moved on through. Tell us about it. Hi, Nick. Hi, Kelly. Yes, um, I actually had a had an early morning interview about 1030 this morning in downtown Monroe, and I had finished the interview up around 1130, and the photographer and I noticed the dark clouds, and we thought, well, we better hurry to our cars. Uh, we went separately, and I was driving, and all of a sudden, I looked to my right, and there's like this wall of rain. It's not raining on me yet, and so it comes to me in about five seconds, and it gets bad fast i'm driving and all of a sudden my car starts kind of shaking side to side and then i see the the wind is whirling and so i'm, I'm looking at a building it's that city building park here i see a door so i park and i run to the door i'm drenched by the way and the door is locked so i was scared out of my mind i ran there was a door on the other side but the wind might have knocked me down so I had to go back to my car and had to drive again another block. The newspaper was there. I was praying. I was like, God, please get me out of this. And there was the newspaper. And they opened the door. And they were like, come on in. And I was safe. So it was it was a good day for me. Oh, <laughs> I drew okay. Yeah. And we only have a few seconds left, Heather. Tell us, uh, are, are they wrapping up uh, any, any injury reports, any damage reports? What have you heard? We are so lucky. We have been blessed. We've um, we've had no major injuries reported. We do still have about 26,000 people without power tonight. Um, maybe Wednesday, Thursday before everybody gets back online. So mm. um, shelters are opening up here, um, but the community is really coming together. It's, it's really nice to see everybody supporting each other. Absolutely. Heather Parker, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're glad you're okay. You got a little wet, a little scared, obviously, but um, but yeah, if that's the worst that's going to happen, then you're okay. Yeah, well, a lot more wet and, and more scary weather headed your way if you live across the south portions of the midwest we continue to track this severe weather we're also keeping a close eye too on the tropics and we've got a hurricane in the caribbean a party hi i'm new insure active clear protein drink clear huh my nutritional standards are high i'm not juice or fancy water i've got eight grams of protein Twist my lid. That's three times more than me. 
17 vitamins and minerals. And zero fat. Mmm, you bring a lot to the party. Yay! New Ensure Active Clear Protein. 8 grams protein, zero fat, 17 vitamins and minerals. And delicious blueberry pomegranate and mixed fruit. Take life in. Sunday nights. channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. I saw something. I don't know how to explain it. Every Sunday. It's a story that's got a life of its own. A new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 82 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low, 78. Tuesday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook.